Hey everyone, today is Sunday, December 19th. Um, I thought I was going to be caught up on all my weaving on the 17th, uh, but it took me longer than I thought it was going to, to weave eight days worth of Advent stuff. Go figure. So today's the 19th and I had finished, I finished the 17th color this morning. So. Um, like I said, it's Sunday, so we went to... I, I finished my weaving this morning of the 17th. We went to church, did some stuff around the house, cleaning, did some grocery shopping, took Marjorie for a walk. I put together the most recent Vlogmas video. <laughs> so now uh, we're going to sit down and watch some TV. We're going to watch some more Lost in Space Season 3 loving it. Um, so I'm going to weave while we watch TV and I'm going to weave up the 18th and the 19th, which will get me caught up, right? Oh my gosh, will I ever be caught up? <laughs> so the 18th is some Patton's Croy <laughs> tried and true sock yarn. Um, so this is, uh, it's shades of blue, two, is it two shades of blue and gray. Uh, I think it's Singing the Blues. I think that's the name of this colorway. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's really cute. I love it. I have a pair of socks out of this colorway. I knit some for Michael out of this colorway. Um, I do really like this colorway. I think it's really pretty. So this is color number 18. Yep, 18. And then 19... <laughs> is yeah this is more Patton's Croy and it's grays and blacks is it all grays and blacks this is look at this I wound this up as a ball like a gobstopper ball so I can't see all the colors uh, but I think it's mostly just grays maybe a little bit of blue we'll see but this is color 19 for today so a couple more Patton's Croy colors to go in the scarf I should just call this my Patton's Croy project except it's not all Patton's Croy anyway so we're gonna watch some TV and I'm gonna do some weaving
Did you like that, playing in the snow? Oh yeah, me too. Oh, it's so pretty with the snow outside. Hey, it's late afternoon on Tuesday, December 21st, and we just spent the day getting chores done. Um, we have guests coming today. They're on the road right now on their way to us. Um, I've got a pecan pie in the oven. Uh, so we're getting ready for family visits for Christmas, uh, but I'm going to sit down and get my weaving done. Uh, so I have the 20th color and the 21st color I'm hoping to get done right now. So the 20th color <laughs> uh, from day 20, which I should have done yesterday, but we were cleaning uh, the house, putting stuff away, you know, organizing. Uh, but day 20 is, this is more Premier Yarn Serenity Sock. Um, I knit a pair of socks for Michael out of this yarn. So it's gray, a really pale blue, and brown. And then like this nice charcoal, almost deep navy color. So that's color 20. That's going to be next. And color 21 is more Patton's Croy. Uh, I think this is blue-brown marl. Um... But yeah, that's color 21. So these are, there we go. These are going to go uh, into the scarf project next on the loom. Um, I also got, I got a couple more clues done on the gnome. Uh, I got through clue seven. Did I finish it this morning, clue seven? No, I think it was yesterday. I got through clue seven. Let me go grab those real quick so I can show you those. So on the needles are clues five, six, and seven. Um, Cause uh, off of five, you continue into six and continue into seven. And I think looking ahead, it will also continue into eight. So these are not separate pieces. It's all being knit together. Anyway, so clues five, six, and seven, which hopefully are not a spoiler for you at this point, but if you're doing the Leave Gnome Stone Unturned by Imagine Landscapes, it's her gnome mystery knit along number eight, uh, but it's the December Advent mystery knit along for this year, 2021. So if you don't want spoilers, you know, turn away, skip ahead a couple minutes. Um, at this point, because I'm behind and everything, by the time this video goes up, I don't think it'll be spoilers, but just in case you're doing this knit along late like me and you don't want spoilers, just skip ahead a couple minutes. Um, but yeah, clues five, six, and seven are here. So... Uh, I think it's very clear that this is the hat. <laughs> uh, the hat has a pocket, which is adorable. Um, and then we're knitting down, I guess this is the body. Um, the beard was a previous clue, so just to kind of give it some scale here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, compared to last year's gnome, this seems a lot bigger. Uh, but I, I don't know. We'll see. It's not stuffed yet or anything, but I finally got to bring in color two, which is this teal color I dyed. And I think it's amazing. I love it. That variegated. Uh, but yeah, so I am 
slowly catching up on I, I finished clue seven so this is five six and seven all right here in one piece um, I'm pretty excited Hey everyone, Merry Christmas! It's December 25th and I am going to take the scarf off the loom. So I'm really excited to see the whole thing, all of the colors, give it a good soak. Um, I did weave in the ends as I was weaving. <laughs> um, so after I uh, give it a soak, block it out i will trim those ends and then it'll pretty much be finished so let's take this off the loom and see what it looks like i'm super excited mm -hmm. 